I don't like looking stupid in front of people and well I mean I do but I don't it's like I want to look stupid when I when I when I look stupid it's usually on purpose me trying to look stupid and when I look stupid because I'm you know too lazy I'm a lazy reader or I'm too lazy to go to the website that tells me how to pronounce words and I just look stupid you know it's like it bothers me that I look stupid but at the same time I'm learning not to care so much about what people think. <laughs> so, the last video I did yesterday about, um, oh my gosh, this is the most pathetic website. I've, all I did to find it, I'll, I'll leave the link below on this one. Um, what Christians want to know. The whole thing is just, it hurts. Any, anybody who knows anything about anything reads that is going to be in pain by the time they're done. Anyway, um, the reason, one of the reasons I, I want to delete the video I did yesterday uh, about that website is I repeatedly get the term, the AD wrong. AD, all my life I have thought AD meant after death. All my life. And so the whole video is me, oh, you know, well that's so and so many years after Jesus' lunch of death, you know, because I'm thinking after death. So it's wrong. There's lots of things in that video that are wrong because of that assumption that AD stands for after death. What it actually says, it's an abbreviation for the Latin Anno Domini. Uh, Anno Domini. Anno Domini. Anno Domini. I'm sure it's a beautiful sounding word and a phrase, and I don't know how to say it. Which translates Domini, maybe. Anno Domini. Which translates to the year of our Lord. So say Josephus born 37 AD, that would be the 37th year of our Lord, except that Jesus died, what was he, 32, 33 when he died? So Josephus would have been born, what, five years after his death? Instead of what I say in the video, which is like 30 some years after his death. So so the, the numbers are wrong in the video. But I do put little notes in there to hopefully help people understand um, but yeah that's one of the things you know being a Christian for a long time you just you oh after death everything's about Jesus nobody ever corrected me and apparently it's common it's a common misperception because one of the one of the things says um, what where does it say it's a common misperception is what I read in one of these things do, do, do. Anyway, so I'm not the only one that, that believes that or has thought that, which doesn't make me feel any better. It just means that I'm as stupid as other people and I can't pronounce words. That's the other thing. I, I, I don't want to put together videos when I'm sick because it truly does fuck up my brain. The first time I tried to um, get a license to ride a motorcycle, um, I went to the I went through the class two times. The first time I did really really well the first day. Really well. I I, I was you know I, I kept asking the instructor how I'm, how am I doing and they're like you're doing great you're really great you want we're not worried about you that's the response I was getting. The second day of the of the class, which is when we had to take the um, the actual test, the the writing test, I was I had come down with a head cold. It was like my brain and my my motor skills were no longer attached. I was doing things like trying to stop the motorcycle, you know, pressing the brake, but I was still on the throttle. It's like my my. <laughs> 
<laughs> I I don't even want to say what I got on the test. It was dismal. It was it was horrible. It was like embarrassing. Um, what I got on the test. Needless to say, I failed the test. But I had already bought my motorcycle. Oh, speaking of cool motorcycle stuff, I want to show you my tattoo. I don't think I've ever showed this to people. See my see my tattoo. Dreamcatcher flying. This is basically rising above. Um, well, letting your I designed the design, and it's basically setting, putting wings to your dreams is kind of what I was trying to go for. Um, here's my other arm. Where where'd he go? Snoopy. See him? And this little thing says friend down here. Okay, so now you've seen my tattoos. I don't think I've ever showed them. Anyway, so I failed the test, but I had already bought my first bike, which was a Honda 600cc. Really cute little purple bike. I named him Mouse because he had a squeaky brake. Anyway, uh, so I had the bike, so I, I rode it all summer during the day with a permit, and then in the fall I took the test again and aced it. I got like a 97. <laughs> See, I will mention the score I got the second time. I will never tell anybody what I got the first time. It was pathetic. So, BC stands for Before Christ and refers to years before the year in which Christ was is assumed to have been born. I like that. Uh, AD stands for Anno Domini, again probably saying it wrong, which is Latin for Year of Our Lord, and refers to years after the birth. Uh, CE and BCE are the politically correct counterparts to BC and AD, a way of continuing to use the birth of Jesus as a time reference without actually saying so. CE stands for Common Error, Era. <laughs> Common error. Error! See, this is what I'm saying. The brain doesn't work when I'm sick. Okay, common error and refers to years beginning with an unnamed event. That's kind of stupid, in my opinion. BCE stands for before common era and refers to years before a particularly named event. See, I think CE and BCE are wrong too because I don't think the event happened at all. But whatever, I think that's giving them too much. Even having those words, those abbreviations. What event? <laughs> there isn't a there isn't one. But whatever, uh, I don't think so. There's no evidence for it. I, I kind of stuck am stuck on evidence. So yes, now you understand maybe why I don't make videos when I'm sick. The video I made last night is a lovely example of that. But you know, it has some good so I don't want to delete it. I can't believe that Christians are so desperate that they are actually looking up weather reports to try to find anything to show that, you know, the, the, anything about the, the, the crucifixion story might be true. Oh, look, there was some weird weather sometime in the year 32, 33. There was some weird weather. There were earthquakes that year. There was, there was, um, Probably there was an eclipse at some time in the year. I'm thinking there's what what can cause weird weird lighting on the planet, you know? It could have been volcanic activity and shit in the sky, you know. Um it could have been an eruption somewhere that could have explained the earthquakes. You know, but no, we're gonna go straight to Jesus, straight to oh the crucifixion, of course. It's proof Jesus existed. It's proof the entire story is true. Love my voice. Yeah, I can't do that voice when I'm not sick. That Somebody wrote and said that I should um, do more of the uh, Christian with the scarf videos. It's like, but I don't think I can do that voice when I'm not sick. I can do it now while I'm sick, but when I'm not sick, I don't know if I can do that voice. So anyway, I just think it's sad and pathetic. Oh, and if you go to that website, um, <laughs> what Christians want to know when it talks about Josephus. Oh my gosh, they, they hero worship this guy. They put him on such a pedestal. They talk about he was a child prodigy. And da 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 da. It talks all about him like, oh, we're just building him up. He's just so fabulous. Oh, and he wrote a perfect little paragraph all about the. I mean, it's like you could so tell that that was totally forged. You know, no way this Jewish guy would have written this paragraph. It's so totally contrived by the church. And people are, William Lane Craig, actually are trying to say that this is not forged. Hello? 
<laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, anyway, so that's all. I just I think it's sad that, that to maintain this ridiculous belief system, they have to go through such um, um, <sighs> unethical things. They have to they have to do all these back backflips that and and lying and deception and patting each other. You know, and it's all to it's all to make the Christian feel better. <laughs> As they face the onslaught of atheists saying, oh, no, there's no evidence, no evidence. They're like, oh, is there evidence? Somebody please tell me there's evidence. And they go to this website and it's like, oh, here you go. It's like, oh, that, I'm sorry. That is so sad. And I have nothing but contempt for websites like this website. That they would do this, you know. <sighs> Why don't they just say, you know what? It's bullshit. Here, have your life back. Go figure yourself out. You don't need the crutch. You know? Anyway, <laughs> if you've been watching, thanks. Bye.